Hi, hello you, thank you very much for coming. To the launch pad, welcome. <laughs> Make sure it's uh, running. <laughs> Don't know if it is running. It says it's going. Is it going? My chat box has disappeared. I have such dreams of doing this in such a slick way. Oh no! <laughs> I can see myself. Unknowingly slick, that's me. Hello, thank you very much for attending this uh, May, March, what's the month? April <laughs> live stream. I'm just going to play a song. Drown me, drown me out 
sadness suffocates Drown me, drown me up Sick of silence Sick of myself Drown me out ah. I raise a cup of tea to you in my Katie A.B. mug that says Magical Weirdo on it. I bought one for Tim as a present and I had to get myself one as well. <laughs> um, this is a song that's been heartily requested in the Correspondence Club this week. And as I was practicing it the other day, I was laughing my head off. So I decided I was definitely playing it. This really takes me back. I'm waiting in line He's taking his fucking time I'm not doing alright I did some crying on my friend last night you know I'm not stupid, so why don't you tell me what you've done? You say you're a good man, so come on and prove it with action. I'm not going to kiss your cold shoulder again. I'm waiting to find out who you think you are. What's going on in your head? What's coming for me? Ex-girlfriend or STD? Don't call me baby I know you shouldn't mean that much to me You know I'm not stupid so I know you Tell me what you've done You say you're a good man So come on and prove it with action I'm not going to kiss your cold shoulder again I'm waiting to find out who you think you are What's going on in your head? You say you're a good man, so come on and end what you've begun I'm not going to kiss your cold shoulder, no I'm dying to find out who you think you are And what's going on in your head Hi, <laughs> um, I'm Laura, I am pen friend, but I used to be She Makes War and I'm, tonight I'm celebrating 12 years of this album being in the world. This is called Little Battles and eight years of this one being in the world. This is called Direction of Travel and you may own these. If you do, please tell everyone in the comments which is your favourite song off either of them. The reason this one is much bigger than this one is because this one is on vinyl <laughs> and um, this one has sold out. So if you'd like uh, this exact copy and others like it, um, my husband might put a link in the comments for you to buy it, which 
The link is shop.penfriend.rocks. Um, I'm not here to sell things at you. I'm here to celebrate these songs. So um, the first song there was called, it's called Drown Me Out, and that is off Direction of Travel. Isn't it? No, it's not. The other day when I was practicing for this show, I was recording bits as well for the Correspondence Club, and um, I, I was listening back yesterday, and I was like, hang on. I introduced the song as Drown Me Out, and then I played a song called Devastate Me, which is off my 2018 album, Brace for Impact, and I didn't even realise my confusion until I listened back, so they're all sort of a mush to me now at this point. But anyway, Drown Me Out and Cold Shoulder are the songs you've already heard. I'm going to play um, a slower song next. And then, and then another one. <laughs> um, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments where you are beaming in from today. I would love to know. And if you have a beverage or a snack, why don't you let us know what that is as well? It's nice to know things. <clears throat> I have a herbal tea. And later I'm going to eat pizza. In case you were wondering. I hope my microphone's picking up all the slurps. Don't leave me yet 
yet We're all walking wounds Brains and bodies are bruised Still I'll take care of you Travel in your footsteps around the world. Cause someday I'll grow a new heart for you to hold. That means we're not allowed to go. You may know I often make light of my sad songs and how I write sad songs and stuff and I'm quite a silly person. <laughs> don't know if you know that about me. Um, but I don't want to make light of everything all the time, um, of course. And I just want to take a moment to acknowledge that the world is a horror show at the moment. Um, maybe it always is and sometimes we're more tuned in. Um, but there's certainly a lot going on at the moment. Um, that is just beyond comprehension for someone. Hopefully empathetic people like you also um, can't understand the things, terrible things that happen in the world. Um, I see a lot of artists getting told off by, I don't even know if they're fans of their stuff, they're just people on the internet um, who like to tell people that they're, they're saying things wrong or haven't said the right thing. Um, I haven't come across those people because I fly under the radar of most uh, people like that, which is a relief. Um, I've chosen not to make um, political statements all the time on the internet, mostly because I don't spend that much time on social media because it's a horror show. <laughs> um, but I just want you to know, you who have tuned in to see me play today, that I'm full of empathy for the people who are going through these terrible things. Um, I wasn't planning to say anything. Um, it's just that song makes me feel that way because originally I wrote it because I was terrified that my dad was going to be not with us for much longer. He was diagnosed with some scary things. This is in 2014, I think, when I wrote that song. Yeah, it was. Um, and I feel so fortunate that he bounced back and is very vibrantly still with us, um, hopefully for many, many centuries to come. Um, but, you know, in the, the time that has elapsed, lapsed, elapsed, <laughs> am I being, am I being very erudite? In the time that has passed since um, I wrote these songs and put them out, I've lost people, you've lost people, I'm so sorry that you have, you know, we all have. And of course, um, in the far distance, there are all these terrible things also happening to other people. So I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that. Um, I'm incredibly grateful for my health and for my good fortune to be standing here and playing music for you. Um, I don't take it lightly at all. I am so thankful and grateful to you for supporting me in this, um, especially in the past week when I've relaunched my correspondence club on Patreon um, via cancelling everybody's memberships and then going, oh, what am I going to do? Um, I joked to some people on the weekend, we, we hung out for a little launch party on Zoom 
um, on Sunday night and I, I joked, although I wasn't that joking that much, that I'd been considering an alternative career as a delivery driver of some sort. I thought I could listen to podcasts and drive uh, a van, which is something I do, do enjoy. I, I also considered becoming a postman. I thought I could get up really early and deliver things to people, make them happy, because I think the mail makes people happy. That's why I'm called Ben Friend. Um, and then be, be done by lunchtime and then have all afternoon to make music. Um, so uh, I'm, I am relieved, and I'm sure the Royal Mail is also relieved that I will not be applying for that job, because I already have a job, which is this. So thank you very much for your part in making that true. I wasn't intending to make a speech, but I seem to have done that. Right, okay, um, let's get back to some music. Oh, I'm going to do two more songs and then... Um, have a chat with you so that's why I've got my phone on hand so that if you have any questions um, you can ask me them and if they're not strange <laughs> too strange I will answer them now I seem to have painted myself into a corner that if I ignore your question I'm saying that you're strange I don't know I'm just saying <laughs> I will reserve the right to not answer questions also um, but yes feel free to ask me anything please put question at the begin beginning of your comment so that I can quickly scan down with my with my astigmatic eyes and find it <clears throat> uh, oh yeah that's what I'm going to do This song was written in very early 2015 and it was about drawing a line under a terrible year. 2014 was not a good one for me and um, there's a line in it that I directed towards my exciting new boyfriend who is now my exciting husband and that's very sweet I think. I'm really glad I did it and it's one of the lyrics, um, I've, ha I've had a few of these where um, when I write them, I feel almost embarrassed because they seem so, like a bit too much. But I think that's a sign that it's just enough.
But I know it hurts to be touched Ooh, I crashed down I burned down along the way On a sunny day With threat of thunder Threat of rain And I smell roses on good days All this is us Let's do amazing things with good hearts <clears throat> I was experimenting with this next song in my afternoon sound check today because I've been performing I've been performing Delete the song I'm going to play next since about 20 well, I think there's a there's a video of me performing it at the Strong Room in London. I think it's from 2012. It's the first time I'd ever played it live, and someone was filming it all posh, and recording it. Um, can't tell you if it's any good. <laughs> it's just what it was that day. Um, <clears throat> which arguably songs are whenever you perform them. So um, anyway, this afternoon I was just trying out some different um, melodies. So I was wondering if you'd like me to do the traditional version of Delete or be a bit experimental it might not go right is the only thing but I did what I'll do talk amongst yourselves I did record it on my phone so that I could try and get the same part so I'm, I'm just going to have a, the, the quickest listen to that and um, well I'll play it for you also and then you can see if I got it right because <laughs> I think it's um th there are many ways to approach live performance obviously one way is to try and be perfect, try and play everything perfectly. And if anything goes wrong, act like nothing went wrong. But if you've ever <laughs> been to one of these before, you probably know that I favor laughing at myself and admitting what's gone wrong or just like starting again or not or whatever. 
because I don't really see the point in pretending to be perfect and amazing because I don't feel perfect and amazing inside at all. And in fact, sometimes when I'm playing my songs, I'm thinking, oh, I wonder if this is any good. (laughs) And what I'd like to do and what I'm always striving to do is to get out of my own way, not only in live performance, but in songwriting also and making all things and just go, this is what it is right now. And that is what is important. The most important thing is being myself and the, you know same same to you in my opinion so this is what i is it even coming out oh because i have this on silent all right i've got i've got the gist i think we'll, we'll see how it goes could be fun um yeah What it is better than is what most of social media seems to be at the moment, which is a whole circle jerk of people telling people how to be people. It's like (laughs) video video makers telling video makers how to make videos, people who make like nothing telling people how to be the best on each platform. It's just just horrible anyway. This is is not the time to complain. But um, if this goes horribly wrong, at least I tried. (laughs) So this is delete. (coughs) And this is a song about not wanting to make a decision a long time ago. I'd like to delete myself Don't like to repeat myself No I'd like to delete myself
think we might have a new version of Delete. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have a look at what you're saying to me, if anything. We have two rooms I'm looking at now. I'm going to look at first, I'm going to look in the, uh, the Correspondence Club on Patreon because there's people in there having a chat maybe. We've got a little VIP room, no offense to the rest of you. It's just um, it's fun to have different spaces. No one's better than anyone else. Um, but I'm very thankful and grateful to the correspondents for supporting me um, in the most direct way. Um, I think people were just requesting songs actually. Um, okay. Stephen Falcon has a question. One song I've never heard you play since the record is Alone. It's one of my favourites due to some personal experiences back when it came out and also because I'd like to know what time signature it's in. My best guess was 13.8. Have a great show. Off the top of my head, Stephen, I can't remember, but I will go away and count and I will let you know and I'll reply here. Michael Record was asking for Cold Shoulder and so is Ian Pleasance. Done. Julia Georgia is asking for exit strategy. Well, there are more songs to come. And other people are not voting. That's fun. Because they just, they just trust me to just do what I want. And I appreciate that very much. Okay, I'm going to have a look. Oh, where can I see the... I can, I, can, I can view myself looking at my phone. But will it let me see the comments? Normally it does. That is weird. Hmm. Can hear that is not helpful. The tech here is um, astounding, isn't it? I'm going to go over to the computer and see what's going on over there. Luckily, hopefully you can still hear me. Tell me if you tell me if I'm silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should be able to see me at least maybe hear me far far away I didn't check this today um, I'm just going to scroll through as I said and see if you're asking me any questions see who's here sometimes my niece comes along and offers everyone a drink which is funny because she's seven she shouldn't be at the bar uh, la, 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 la. chat's been weird lately People are singing along, that's lovely. <laughs> Tim is trying to sell my vinyl for me, that's very kind. It is littering our spare room, so if you would um, like to take some off my hands, you're always very welcome. Oh, it's Christian's here, hello. It's lovely to see Christian documentally here. We've been online friends for about one million years, and it's really nice. Um, he writes wonderful things on Substack. Go and check him out, documentally. Um... Question. Oh, my mum's here. Hello, mum <laughs> and dad. Sarah Jane asks, is there a particular song or artist which has helped you through a difficult time? Um, I was actually listening to a playlist today on um, Tidal, which is my streaming, uh, streaming, that's really dead. my streaming, stream, streamer, stream, streamland of choice. And um, there's a song by Lisa Marie, Lisa Ann, called I Love You But I Need Another Year. And I remember listening to that. It wasn't in relation to my current relation. I can't recall it. I don't mean current. I don't I mean as opposed to previous ones that I may have referenced in songs. Oh, I'm really digging myself in here. Listening to that song was nothing to do with my relationship, my wonderful relationship. It was to do with like previous stuff. It, it made me very emotional. Also, the latest Blur album, um, some of it's kind of, I think the lyrics are, some of the lyrics are quite clumsy, but I was listening to that um, when I was driving back from visiting my gran in hospital last summer, which is a very stressful, very sad time. She's fine, amazing woman, she's fine now, um, but it was very, very stressful for all of us. I was driving back from um, the north of, northwest of England down to Bristol just before moving here and um, listening to that on repeat really loud and there's, oh, I can't remember, I can't remember the names of any songs because I don't look at the names. I just listen to albums like an old person. <laughs> but I just, um, <coughs> I don't know the name of the song. I, it's, it was the first single off that record. It makes me bawl my eyes out. And then there's also the song She's Leaving Home by the Beatles. I can't even think, okay, I can't even really talk about it. 
I can't even think about that song without it making me bawl my eyes out. I don't even have to listen to it. In fact, I can't really listen to it. Um, it makes me very sad. Um, I'm sorry about the ads. Um, that's nothing. I can't do anything about that. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> are we talking about shit girlfriend? I probably need to uh, edit that video, don't I? I do have um, I do have some footage of that. I might be talking to myself here because I don't know if you can hear me, but maybe you can. No one's saying you can't. That's good. Ah, uh, Rodney Kidd. Yes, uh, every time you show up, Rodney, on an email or something, um, Tim goes, is, is that is that your cousin or something? And I'm like, maybe, maybe. Hello, Rodney. Um, <laughs> Carol and Rodney Kidd are having a chat. That's very nice to see. Uh, oh, you can hear me good. That's great. Um... Oh, Michael Record. Question, do you have any plans for any more standalone singles like I Want My Country Back or Everything Looks Normal in the Sunshine, etc.? I don't know yet. Um, I will know that when I have recorded proper versions of the songs that are going on the next album because I've got way too many. I'm not complaining, of course. That is a lovely problem to have. But it is, unfortunately, a problem because I don't know um, which ones to do. But I've got a big whiteboard here which has the shortlist on. The shortlist is about... Mm, I keep adding to it. I think it's about 28 songs. Um, so I'm going to pick the ones that call to me the most and record those. And then if there's any in that bunch that don't sit at, you know, in an album, then I will just put them separately. Because, for instance, um, The Only Way Out Is Through is one of my favourite pen friend songs, but that was a standalone single as well because it didn't fit on the record, in my opinion. Other people don't agree, and that's fine. And they, I remember someone writing to me going, why didn't you put Everything Looks Normal in the Sunshine and The, on the Only Way Out Is Through on that record because they're your best songs? And I was like, that's your opinion. I'm really glad you like them. I chose not to put them on the record. They didn't go on. Um, in my opinion. My opinion is the one that counts the most when choosing the uh, songs that go on a record. Ah. Oh, so Rodney, that I think my parents were at that, that show at Epic Studios. <clears throat> so lots of kids in the room. Double album, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> um. Okay, good. Not loads of questions. That's fine. That's really good. I, I, I'm very happy to not answer lots of questions. I've got a few more songs for you. Um, it'd be, I, I'd love to show you the, the, the debris around this room, and maybe I'll do that later on. Um, let's switch back. Switch back to... People asking about what herbal tea. This is Twining's Glow. Twinings glow. <clears throat> I will just mention the Correspondence Club one more time because on YouTube, most people are flogging the wares of some random company, aren't they? This video is sponsored by whatever, um, which, you know, I'm not judging because that's how some people make money. That's great. Um, I have not got sponsors apart from the Correspondence Club, except I wouldn't call you sponsors because that sounds like you're sort of sponsoring me for a charity swim or something, which um, is something quite different from this, I hope. So it's not like a charity situation. Um, I am not a charity. <laughs> but I do need people um, in the world who are able to support the making of new music and stuff. Otherwise, I will have to be a postman, which is fine. Don't mind. But um, I like doing this job. And at the moment, there are enough people who agree that this is what I should do, that I get to do it. So very grateful and thankful for that. But that has all come about because of the Correspondence Club. And this is an example of what I send out to the Correspondence Club every three months, roughly. Um, this was the edition from March 2022. I just picked it up at random from the a spare room downstairs. Uh, for instance, I wrote a story about how, um, when I say story, it's not made up. I just wrote it down. It's called 105 Minutes in A and E. I'm not going to read it out to you because that would take ages. But it's when um, I had a migraine aura and I didn't know what it was and I thought I was dying. So I went to the hospital because they told me to come in immediately when I called them up. And um, that's what this scene is about. <laughs> so there's photos. 
from the A and E. There's like what happened as a post-it note of when I when I couldn't see and I was trying to scribble down what I was able to see. I could see like a felt like a tear in my vision and like throbbing, strobing stripes. It was really strange. So I did a diagram so I could explain to Tim what on earth was going on. I think he thought I was losing my marbles. Um, possibly I was. There's another piece in here called Stop Spamming Me With Garbage, which was an, a lovely email I got from a, a former fan of mine who had been on my mailing list for over a year and took great offence at me then sending him a message. Um, <laughs> and I just tried to make these things into funny things, funny moments instead of like a really depressing Monday morning email situation. Uh, some photos here of the old launch pad. Is this the old one that I liked? Yes, this is the one of the beautiful first launch pad, which um, was my home attic studio in Bristol. I then moved to another room, which was terrible and I hated it. Um, and then we moved here and then this is the new launch pad. So I'm very happy here. And um, yeah, so I send these out with a, a CD every three months. And <clears throat> when you sign up to the new home of the Correspondence Club on Patreon, then you can get access to the entire back catalogue of all of those things, plus all of the albums I've made and uh, whatever member perks you choose to have ongoing. Um, I just want to say thank you again. I know they're saying thank you a lot. That's nothing wrong with that, is there? Um, I'm just super grateful to everybody who has jumped on board. It only launched last Thursday to existing correspondence, last Friday to my mailing list, and Saturday to the world at large. And we're having a fine time in there, so thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, what am I doing now? Playing the guitar. This is the guitar that I wrote most of, if not all of, Exotic Monsters on. Well, all of the guitar bits anyway. And um, very fond of this guy. And I've just recently hung up all of the guitars in the hallway so that I can have quick and easy access to them for recording. And so I picked this one up for this evening for no particular reason. I don't have a lot of guitars and they're not like super fancy or anything, but I love them very much. <clears throat> of course I've um, moved my set list somewhere which is very smart of me. There it is. People who tune in to see me forget my words might be pleased soon. <laughs> Not this one, and not the next one, but maybe the one after that. So keep keep watching. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to say on YouTube, isn't it? Watch till the end and I'll give you a bonus piece of information about something or other. No, no, no. <clears throat> Stranger, lover, suck air and water, mind fields and murder, his breath, I love. As I flounder around trying not to lose sight of him Nothing feels right, he's too far away Let the planets collide Cause there's no point in fighting them now I flounder around trying not to lose sight of it 
nothing feels right He's too far away Let the planets collide Cause there's no point in fighting them now Place. My stomach is sick as I flounder around trying not to lose sight of it Nothing feels right, he's too far away Let the planets collide cause there's no point in fighting them My eyes in your It might be me. <laughs> um. uh, something to say, dogs? Something to say? Um. <clears throat> There's a song I didn't have time to run through, but I'm pretty confident that I know how to play this because I played it a million times over many gigs. But this is the one where you might be pleased if you're waiting for me to mess it up. <clears throat> and then I have a finale. I look for signs of morning In these sails a bond I cannot keep In this heart I hear a siren calling Set to sea I turn my salty cheek Don't wake up Don't Cry out In these arms I hope for sweet surrender In these veins I hunt for poetry In this vessel floating to the future Weeping weather fills the cold grey sea don't wake up Don't cry out Don't make a sound Ship far from homeland Rock this body, I'll ride the waves back down Don't wake up Don't cry out Don't make a sound
confusion go Protect my heart On land go see They will take me blowing the cobwebs away in the attic this evening. I have one more song for you, um, which is off that, the big one. <laughs> it's off Little Battles. I'll just say something about the song I just, uh, just played. It's called In This Boat. That is from also from Little Battles. When I listened back to the mixed version of that song in the studio in 2011? Hmm, yes, 11, when I finished it. I was like, so overcome, I really let myself be proud of what I had created with the arrangement and everything. And that was the first time, even though I really loved the first record I made, it was the first time I was like, I feel like I can push this and I feel like I can push myself as an arranger. And it was after that that I started thinking of myself as a songwriter and arranger, um, which, I mean, these things don't really matter other than it tells you something and you maybe try more I don't know it was just a, a big deal that song song that that was that was can't speak that song was a big deal to me and remains a big deal to me now um and then this song exit strategy much requested um I've told the story before but I remember the first time I played it live was at the Ben and Jerry's festival you know the ice cream people um talking about sponsors um they they sponsored the event i had as much ice cream as i could possibly eat it was great great day um i played in clapham and i played somewhere in manchester as well um and like fun loving criminals were on the bill and i think ash were on the bill i didn't meet any of these people i was nowhere near them i played on this little bandstand and i played exit strategy solo like this and it was the first time i had noticed people really stop and listen to me and the song felt very long because i was thinking the whole time what have I done? Why do, why do they hate me? <laughs> so that's just a little glimpse into the psyche. I don't know if everyone else is like this. Um, I know I'm like this and it's really strange. And I, and I, I, I do try to, um, the reason I share this with you is because um, if you feel that way too, just know that I do. And, and maybe everyone does, I don't know. Haven't asked everyone. I just think it's better, like I said earlier, to be honest about these things instead of pretending everything's perfect. And there's a lot of um, stuff in music that is just trying to make you feel like people are more famous than they are, you know. You can see straight through that nonsense because you're not stupid, but um, it's sort of the way. And I, as you probably know, if you know me at all, I don't do that. Just a funny lady in an attic, that's me. <laughs> so thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if you're brand new to my work, please do check it out. I can give you, I'd love to send you a, a free bunch of stuff. Just um, go to penfriend.rocks forward slash hello and put your details in. And I'll send you some free music, a 12 track album and a 31 page zine. And if you are ready to get involved with the Correspondence Club, it's a very welcoming group of people. I used the, the term VIP earlier. I don't really know why, because everyone's a VIP. It's not like an exclusive thing that keeps people away from other people. It's actually more about um, providing space for people to hang out and speak about whatever they want to talk about. It's not about. It's not all about me. But you do get lots of um, member perks. That's the. That's what I can offer as part of it. So um, check out whatever you like. I do have a YouTube channel, as you you're aware, because you're on it right now. And there's stuff on there, and there'll be more stuff coming. Um, I'm editing a, a three new music videos coming soon. And as you can tell, I've rediscovered my whammy pedal <laughs> and it's making me very happy. So thank you. Thank you very much. Um, sending so much love to you. And um, this is Exit Strategy. Um, the song, 
I mean, when you line all the songs up, it's fairly obvious, isn't it? I wrote this, I wrote Delete, I wrote um, well, all the other ones on that record, obviously, and didn't sort of think I was saying anything to anyone or about anything in my actual life. And then I blew it all up shortly after releasing the record and moved to Bristol. Um, and that was a good move at the time, so yeah. Listen to the things you make. <laughs> they're, not, they're not coming from nowhere, you know. <clears throat> There's an experiment in this too. I'm excited. Sometimes I'm only talking to myself Yeah, I know You're getting worried for my health Leave it I'm just a solitary soul Oh, 
Fortune favours the brave. Thank you very much for coming. I'm off to order a pizza. Lots of love to you and I'll speak to you soon. See you in the Correspondence Club. Thank you very much. Good night.